People losing their jobs or other income sources due to the pandemic, it's left a lot of people unable to make ends meet. And for now, the state has put a moratorium on evictions, but that is not going to last forever. Messiah Spencer Humphrey tells us how one support organization locally, bracing for what they say could be an influx of people needing rent assistance very soon. It's been almost a year since local Salvation Army leaders realized the pandemic was here to stay for a while. Boy, that really changed our game up too. And they knew they had to organize quickly. We did a whole lot of collaborative uh, new programs during COVID and the rental assistance is one of them. They began that rent assistance program back in April. Quickly, we just allocated our own money. They helped who they could with what they had. But then the state saw how quickly we got up to speed. In 2020, the state alone gave the Salvation Army of Colorado Colorado, uh, $2 million. And they put that to work. We've helped out 180 families with rental assistance. And, uh, and, that, so that's, and that, that's for uh, $310,000 here in the, in the El Paso County area. And it's significant help too. $1,700 is the average uh, size that we've paid for someone's rent. This year, the state's up that money to $5 million, something the Salvation Army welcomes with open arms. We think the ramifications of the rental assistance are going to, yeah. the, the need is going to increase exponentially shortly. That's because up until now, the state has had a moratorium preventing landlords from evicting tenants. We think we've just seen a trickle of what's really behind the dam. Eventually, that moratorium will have to come to an end. We think a lot of landlords have been forced to, uh, that they can't evict people, that now the moratoriums on evictions are going to happen, and that will be the beginning of the floodgates. It's why those local Salvation Army leaders are bracing. Then we've also cross-trained a handful of our case managers. We brought on more case managers. They're making sure they have all the infrastructure in place. Our biggest brace really was the website. And trying to get the word out. There's assistance if you need it. Often we see families that waited way too long. You waited till you were on your last $100. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Spencer Humphrey, News 5. So how do you know if you qualify for the assistance? Well, the Salvation Army says you just need to prove you lost your job or your income due to COVID, as well as supporting documents from your landlord. You can do that all online. We've got a link to that application set up with the online version of this story at KOAA.com.